All right, let's get right into it here. The island up gap has been filled here with the today's prices. And as you can see, there was the island up gap, right? This was a down gap. This was an up gap. And this, I've been preaching about this this entire week and last week that this island up gap is the level that bulls must protect. If they want to go and battle with the bot, <laughs> battle with the boss spirit command center, which is 515. But as you can see, the island up gap has been dismantled. It's been fully failed. Not only that, in the process of this, when bears came down shooting the bulls here, it all happened with this gap down, right? Because you can see. Uh, on the last night's nice video, this is what I talked about, right? That bears need to dodge or buyers need to dodge a down gap because we are dealing with overbought sentiment on that oscillator, which we talked about yesterday because that, that oscillator hits that top of his band. Bulls are getting tired and bears are going to be keen on that to sniff that out. They definitely did. They saw, they felt the weakness from the bulls. Despite the fact that we did have that shoot or the hammer like candle there, without any follow through, it means absolutely nothing. It pretty much killed it when it gapped down this morning. Keep in mind that down gap, that tiny little down gap from this morning still remains. It's still open. What happened was on the first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth and sixth hour, it lasts all the moving average. Remember, all the moving average has been reclaimed on that island up gap. Now, all that moving average has been dismantled. Bears are now reclaiming back that those moving averages and now with the no longer bulls are no longer having that island down gap <laughs> the island down gap getting filled it's gonna be a difficult road going forward unless unless bulls got one more chance here because we know that one day down move does not make a trend because you can see last time we did witness this downturn, the gap was filled and bulls did find support right in that vicinity. And you can see here, we're just sitting on it. This is not a solidified support. It is a potential possible support coming over from here, here, we close just right on it. We close just right and on top of that, that oscillator has fully rolled over after double top here, but it's not at over so yet. It means bears have one more, bears have energy left. They, they can push one more day to the downside. So best bet for the sellers right now, because uh, you know they're dealing with this potential rising pivot. If we see another down gap, we're going to get to 499 pretty quick, quickly, which is going to be that recent swing high so or swing low. So only way, right? Because I think everybody's looking at this is, are we going to see a follow through? Follow through is important, right? Because after a day's of move, an oscillator got overbought. They, buyers could not hold the line. Keep that island up there. So bulls have no more weapon against the, uh, uh, the sellers, the bears, right? This is pretty much what, this is the only thing they got left. So only thing bulls can do right now is any kind of shenanigan up gap. Shenanigan up gap. So every time when I mention, people think that when I say shenanigan, it means bears. It's, it, it's not. When I say shenanigan, it means market led you to believe that market is completely break down. It's going to do the complete opposite, right? That's a shenanigan. So as of today, with the way it closed, not only broke below the island up gap, it went, it didn't even act as support. We flushed through it and we closed with the lots of weakness. So this is where the island up gap was. We didn't find support there and we blew through all the moving averages and he just kept going and going and going.
right? So it looks very bearish. We're down by 1.5% on the S&P NASA, close to 2% there, along with the semis. So looking pretty bearish here. So if you see any kind of upside gap up tomorrow morning, yes, that's going to be a shenanigan up get. That could be like the only way. Otherwise, there's a one more day both bears can push before that oscillator fully reset to the bottom of his band.